happening and welcome back to the channel. I am Nick here with Ryan. What up? Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Merry Everyone. Christless. <laughs> <laughs> what what just happened? That's the way I say Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so let's just get it out of the way. I'm a little under the weather. So if you hear any sounds coming from this way, I apologize. I'm doing the best I can. Uh, I'm on my third cup of tea here, so hopefully things are going to be all right. <laughs> just hang in there with me, Ryan. Uh, well, I'm hanging. Go back to year one since the start of the channel. People will say, hey, you know, during this time of year, you guys should do a Christmas song. And I was like, nah. Year number two, Christmas song. Nah. Last year, year number three. Nah. This is year four. Somebody said, hey, are you going to do any holiday-themed music? And I was like, nah. You know what? Maybe we should. <laughs> <laughs> you guys want a Christmas song? How about the Christmas song? Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Ryan, this is a classic. Yeah, it is a classic. Everyone in the world, I feel like, knows this song. Mm -hmm. And it's by Nat King Cole. So, What a name, by the way. Yeah, it's just... It's a great name. Yeah. What can you say? Anything with King in it. <laughs> I, really like the, I really like the name King for some reason. It's just. Nathaniel Adams Coles was an American singer, jazz pianist, and actor. He was raised in Chicago, Illinois. Cole's career as a jazz and pop vocalist started in the late 1930s and spanned almost three decades where he found success and recorded over 100 songs that became hits on the pop charts. Wow. Uh, he started in some jazz trios, and then in 1950, he transitioned to become a solo singer. He, regular, he regularly performed for civil rights organizations. He hosted the NBC variety series, The Nat King Cole Show, <laughs> which became the first nationally broadcast television show hosted by... Uh, an African-American. Mm. He's got a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Uh, he's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. He's in the R&B Hall of Fame. Uh, he passed away in 1965 at the age of 45. Wow. Yeah, that's that's a pretty young life right there. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, we're doing the Christmas song. Uh, this was written in 1945 by Robert Wells and Mel Torm, or is it Torme? Mm. Uh, Nat King Cole recorded this for the first time in 1946, one year later, with his group, the Nat King Cole Trio. They were the big act on Columbia Records, who had them re-record the song with a string section, the first time the trio used strings on a record. Capitol wanted Nat King Cole to stand and sing during the recording session, but Cole insisted on sitting and playing the piano himself. So when you hear this song, uh, he was not standing... <laughs> When they were recording, he was just sitting down. Oh, yeah. Doing what he wanted to. So they recorded this song multiple times over the years. I think there's four different versions, actually. Um, and I think the one we're listening to today is the fourth and final version. Uh, from what I read, this is the most popular version. Uh, the original recording was inducted into the Grammy Hall of Fame in 1974. And then in 2022... The 1961 recording was selected by the Library of Congress for preservation in the United States National Recording Registry. So this really is one of the most popular songs of all time. Hmm. There's no debating yeah, that. For sure. So it's that time of year. Let's get to it. This is Nat King Cole, the Christmas song. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire Jack Frost nipping at your nose Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows a turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots 
with their eyes all aglow will find it hard to sleep tonight they know that Santa's on his way he's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh hey, that's just Come on. that's beautiful man Come on. <laughs> hey, that's just that's, that's beautiful man oh man you said you haven't heard this song in a while yeah, I haven't heard it all. Not not once this year so far. Man. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sad. I feel like everybody should hear this this time of year. Like even if it's one time, like you have to play it. Come on. Come on, you guys. You have to play this song. It's too good. <laughs> what do you think about his vocal? Oh, it's fantastic. Oh. That is just Oh. I mean, it's just It's poetry and motion, <laughs> as they say. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's elegant. Yeah, I mean it's just he's just so proper with it. Yeah, something I like about uh, singing back then. It's like it's like they put emphasis on like every like the entire word. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's like uh, you know the entire thing. Mm-hmm. It's, I think it's just really cool. Very clear. It's very you yes. hear everything. Yep. You probably yeah. hear his last breath or even <laughs> as he gets done saying a word. And uh, how about the intro, though? Like, once you hear that, just the... Da-da, you know, it's about to be one of those where it's like... <sighs> <laughs> oh, let me get my favorite tray right quick. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and how about the opening lyric? Everybody knows that. Yeah. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Like, from the jump, you know that this is about Christmas. Because what other time of year would someone be roasting chestnuts? I mean, it, like, did you did you even know that was a thing before you heard this song? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've heard of the Nutcracker. But you know, that's, did you ever give it any thought though? Like when you heard this lyric, like no, because chestnuts. Yeah, I just <laughs> I don't even like chestnuts, so <laughs> I'm not even a big fan. So I don't even know why I would roast. But you them. haven't had like an actual chestnut chestnut though, right? Like I've only had I think the water chestnuts. Like you get in Chinese food sometimes. Like I like those. You know, they're they're, they're white. Oh, uh, okay. They yeah. look like little white circles. Yeah, no, I mean no, no. I've had like walnuts during the holiday season. Because of the nutcracker. Yeah. You use the nutcracker. You, you use nutcrackers, right? Have you actually used one? Yeah, but it's, it's probably, man. Oh, I mean, it's been a while. A time ago. Because <laughs> we, we used to have some nutcrackers that were giant. They're like giant nutcrackers. Like they stand. Yeah. And you could just put a little nut in there and just. Yeah. yeah. But, I, but I was a big fan of walnuts either. But we just did them during the holidays because it's a thing, I guess. I don't know. Crack some walnuts. Mm-hmm. You got to yeah. use the you got, I mean, uh, nutcrackers in there for It's not even about eating them. It's just like. Cracking them. That's it. Throw them away. <laughs> Crack the nut. Throw it away. <laughs> you don't even need them. You just, <laughs> yeah. just oh, that felt good. Just so, like, I I know what water chestnuts taste like. The, mm-hmm. Not a lot of flavor to them, but they're, they're all right. Yeah. You know, they're, they're complimentary. So, but from what I've read, though, like, roasted chestnuts actually, like, does not taste that good. Really? So, I don't is know. It, is it for the smell? I, I don't really know. Maybe, maybe it was just because I have seen um you know a candle, like that's named roasted chestnut. Oh okay. And it I mean, it smells like a like a for me it's it smells like a cinnamon type of smell. You okay. know that kind, I'm not saying it is cinnamon, but it's that type of spice. Yeah, it's like yeah, like a spice like, candle, like a spice type of smell. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. And I'm I don't like those smells. Really, I'm not a big fan. Oh okay. No, I I'm, do. I'm more of a. Either like a really clean smell or like a fruity smell. Yeah. I like those candles. I'm guessing that it was a food that was, uh, that was just like the, uh, not necessarily a last resort, but like it was available. So like you just ate it. It had to be an old time thing, like a back. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Cause nobody does that now. <laughs> you know, you could, they, people do like, you know, marshmallows and stuff, you know, make yeah. s'mores, but. So yeah, so so from the jump, like you're like, oh, this is a Christmas song. Yeah, roast the chestnut. Like nobody's doing that at a barbecue in the summer. <laughs> and, and if you are, like, who are you? <laughs> you're getting kicked out, pal. 
If it ain't a hot dog on that thing, who cares? Your cousin's just in the back. What's that smell? Yeah. <laughs> Got some chestnuts, boy. Like, what are you doing over here? Uh, where do you even get chestnuts? I. Uh, do they sell them at stores? I've, I've never seen them in stores. Maybe. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. Then again, I don't look for chestnuts when I'm at the store either. So, But back to your, the, the barbecue, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's like your cousin's like, but but it's Christmas in July. No. And you're like, you're not my cousin anymore. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Please leave. <laughs> Take you and your chestnuts somewhere else. It, obviously, his vocal is great, but like you can hear like how fantastic this arrangement is. Yeah, and it it's sounds beautiful. a lot better in the headphones, too. Yeah. You just appreciate the song, which happens a lot on this channel, but we, you appreciate the song way more than you do just hearing it out loud, like off of a radio or yep. off the TV or something like that, you know? Yeah. And matter of fact, I think I heard some harp in here, mm. which I never caught before, but it's, it's, you know, it's really quick. It's bling. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's very slight. I mean, I, I think it's a harp. I could be wrong, but you're definitely right. I'm catching some things I never caught before, so... Let's just run it all the way back. It's Christmas time. You That's guys. right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. yeah. Chestnuts roasting on an open fire. Oh. Mm. Jack Frost nipping at your nose. Yuletide carols being sung by a choir And folks dressed up like Eskimos Everybody knows A turkey and some mistletoe Help to make the season bright Tiny tots with their eyes all aglow We'll find it hard to sleep tonight They know that Santa's on his way He's loaded lots of toys and goodies on his sleigh oh. And every mother's child is gonna spy to see if reindeer really know how to fly And so I'm offering this simple phrase To kids from 1 to 92 <laughs> Although it's been said Many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. There it is. Yes. Oh. So I Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. That was absolutely beautiful. It's fantastic. Once you hear a song a gajillion times. How many times do you think you've heard this song oh, in your so life? So many times. Thousands? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Maybe more. And because like, you know, because as much as I like Halloween, you know, Christmas is, you know, I know it's cliche, but second to favorite holiday. Okay. For me. So yeah. I liked a lot of Christmas. I like I watch a lot of Christmas shows. This year, I've kind of slacked on it. I'm not going to lie. I was watching my shows and movies. Mm -hmm. But, you know, back when I was young, I used, that's all I used to watch was during Christmas time. I wanted to watch all the Christmas stuff. And this song is probably on half of them. So, and there's plenty of movies and the shows I've watched repeatedly. <laughs> and, like, so you know how we say that songs give you, um, like, that, uh, like, like uh, what song did we do at the beginning of the year? Frank Sinatra, that New York song, right? Yeah, wow. So back. you know how we'd have they use that song for like to show the city off most of this song reminds me of a suburb. Like regular really? houses. Yeah, it's it's more of um 
it, the way he's like the way he's describing things, it's more of a natural life. It's just it's, it's it's he's like describing like a normal family or like you know just what you would do with your you know. Mm-hmm. It just seems more normal to me than something that's more extravagant and out there. Like New York sounds like a a big and you know it's like a, it's like big. It's a big song. Like you just think big. You're saying so. This, this is more like simple and more compact. It's like more you know normal. You know, it's like you just imagine like a scene of a normal like a. You know, neighborhood. And you just see, and you hear the song, okay. and it's just peaceful. It's more of a yeah. peaceful song than it is a outgoing and everything. That's what I think of whenever I hear this song. Like we, like we, we should all be together. Yeah, right now. Yeah, this song is something. Yeah, you play. You know, when you got the family over. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just what I think of. It's just you know, togetherness. Makes, yeah, it, it like brings, it brings a smile to my face listening to a song like this because it's it's happy. It's a happy feel. This uh, solo, it's very chill. And it, honestly, it kind of reminds me of um, uh, Cool in the Gang, Summer Madness. You know, some of the chill moments. Oh, and that's interesting. All, you know, just it's smooth jazz yeah. type of stuff. But yeah, don't, I mean, again, like people remember the vocal in the song and for good reason. Like, yeah. this is <clears throat> fantastic freaking vocal. <laughs> but the arrangement is spectacular. Uh, right after they said to see if reindeer really know how to fly, you heard it, uh, the orchestral arrangement go really quick. Mm-hmm. Like, like it they just flew went off. up into the sky. Yeah. 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 It's just, it, it's so good, man. It's those little details, but you're all right. It seems like every Christmas movie, like they, they do seem, they find a way to sneak this one in. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, like, yeah, it's like, yeah, we have, and to they won't use one. the same parts though. They'll put like different scenes with yeah. different parts of the song. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly it's the beginning. You hear that a lot, but uh, again, you, you hear a song a thousand times. You kind of take it for granted. Mm-hmm. You know, once you sit down and pay attention to it, you're like, man, there's a reason why it's so overplayed. Yep. To kids from one to 92. I like that line. Yeah. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Merry Christmas to you. is way back there. Yeah, literally. Ghost note. And so I'm offering the simple phrase to kids from one to ninety-two. Although it's been said many times, many ways, Mary. Christmas to you. I'm in the Christmas spirit now. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants a gift? <laughs> Who needs a hug? <laughs> I, I have to hit it. <laughs> that's one of the greatest songs of all time oh it, it just is oh like th- to me i mean <laughs> it's funny i always say that like like it's to a, me like it's a hundred percent fact i'm like <laughs> well you know it, it is to me so i'm just gonna sit there and say it. i mean come on i mean it when it comes to christmas it might be the best song christmas christmas song of all time yeah like it, I think it, it's a deserving title. If you're going to be called the Christmas song, it has to embody the holiday. Yeah. And I think it really does a great job of that. Yeah. No other song makes me want to sit next to a fire so bad. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I feel like the, the the fireplace theme, though, for holidays is a little overrated. I feel like nobody does it. Oh, well, I have, well, I mean, I think if you have a fireplace, you do it. That's true. I mean, you have to, right? Even a fake fireplace. I feel like, but I feel like a lot of people don't have fireplaces, though. They don't. I feel like we've gone away from the the chimney houses. You know, they don't. But I, 
I guarantee, like back then, like oh yeah, that yeah, I mean, that was the main thing. Yeah, the thing. yeah, that was you couldn't have a Christmas house fireplace fire. in it. <laughs> yeah, but I don't, I don't know. There's just something I've said it for years. There's something about a fireplace that's just like the ultimate relaxation. Like I, I don't really? know what it, I, you know, the sound and the fact that it it gives you warmth. Mm-hmm. You know, it just it just feels like a very safe and calm setting to me. Yeah, I, I think this just hits Christmas on every level. Uh, there's excitement, there's warmth, and, you know, it's got the Christmas magic. All of those are present in this song. You know, it's like this song almost becomes the DNA of Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think uh, this is just one of the greatest of all time. It's just because, like, this this holiday is so massive that, you know, when you think of the number one song, it's like that's held in high regard. Like right. think of all the Christmas songs that have been made, and uh, there's a lot of them. Yeah, so it, like it, I mean, to me, this is kind of undisputed. I love a lot of Christmas songs, I do, but like, I just don't think uh, you're gonna take away the throne from this one. I think it it sits at the top. And by the way, I love at the end where they play the little jingle bells bit as well. Mm-hmm. So I just think it's uh, fantastic. I'll hear it a million more times in my life and every time I'll be okay with it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know they uh, they did that in the song. They played a little jingle bell. Yeah, you don't hear that at the end? No, I dun, did. Dun, but dun, I didn't dun. know they did that. Oh, okay. I was like, oh, I did not know they did that at the end. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah this, this is just, the all, like this might be one of the best. I could probably list this like, even though it hits more during Christmas, I could probably play yes. this any time of the year and yeah. feel relaxed. Yep. And it makes me happy. This is one of those one of those songs that makes me happy. Yep. And it like it just gives me good vibes and I just think of like like all the like happy I don't know, it just brings all the happiness in me. I don't know why it does, it just does. And like just the way that the the instru- like the instruments in the back are just so just so it's like soft and it's like I don't know, it's just it's so calm. And it just makes you want to just you know, next give to the fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't want to sit next to the fire, but, you know, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, family is like a really big thing for me. Mm-hmm. You know, I love, you know, when family is like, like when your family gets together and it's like you all just have like some millions of conversations and, you know, because not everybody sees their family all the time, mm-hmm. you know, so it's like when you do get people together, usually Christmas is one of the ones, you know, I know Thanksgiving is a big one too, but it's just something about Christmas because, you know, people are getting gifts and that also makes you, you know, makes you happy and stuff. And like, you know, it's just a really big happy time. And it's like, yep. it's like one of my favorite feelings to have, like, you know, ever. Yep. So, you know, hearing a song like this just gives me that family feeling. And it's just, ah, put your little, little <laughs> flutters in your stomach, you know. But yeah, this is, I need to put this on the playlist. <laughs> I have not, I do what? not, I do not have it on the playlist. <laughs> what? Yeah. Wait a minute. You what? Come on, Ryan. <laughs> Yeah, it's not on the playlist. Well, I mean, oh. it's not like a list of Chris songs throughout the year. Yeah, I, I, what I was, and say, I haven't heard the song in a very like a very long time. So it's like, in, in your defense, though, you probably hear this song so often that like it, you don't really need to have it on there, right? But, exactly. But it's nice to have it on there. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. It's like it just, I just need to have it on there. <laughs> it, it for a song that makes me bring so much joy out of me. I don't know why it's not on there. Yeah, you know. Yep. So, and there's other songs that do the same thing. You know, there's a lot of Christmas songs that, you know, another one's uh, Rocking Around the Christmas Tree. That's another one I really like. I think that song is fire. <laughs> Dude, I'll, a really, I'll, really happy song. I'll get down with any Christmas song, to be honest oh. with you. Like, I know, I know I've heard them a million times overplayed. I don't really seek them out, but when they're playing, I'm in the mood. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just think uh, part of what makes Christmas so great is, like, everybody kind of makes it their own. Yeah. It's like whatever you want Christmas to be, that's kind of what ends up happening. You know, everyone has their own traditions. Like how many times you go to see a different family, like your friend's family or if you have a, a girlfriend or whatever, boyfriend. There's what, a lot of traditions. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. We, it's just like, it's just, oh, this is how we do it. Like yeah. we do this every single year. Yeah. Like everybody's got that. Yeah. That, that, that's what I like though. It's like this, it's just. It just brings something out of you every, like, Christmas just brings a lot, a lot of things out of you that a lot of, like, just makes you want to do different things with your family and stuff. It's just really great, man. I, I like, I like seeing, hearing different things that people do. Yeah. Like, have you, I don't know if you've heard of the, uh, whether you take the ball and it's wrapped, like a bunch of stuff wrapped up in it. 
Yeah. And you go around, you got to take out as much as you can. <laughs> you pass to the side, and you got a timer, and you got to – you got to roll the dice and get a certain, yeah. yeah, that like that's a game that a lot of people play now. I also yeah. want to say something about, mm-hmm. it said in the song, he, it was an interesting way how he explained kids as tiny tots. Yes. I think yeah. that's funny. You wouldn't hear that now. No, yeah. no. But I thought that was really interesting how he did that. Uh, it was like tiny tots. Like, <laughs> I might start using that. But like, even if you're somebody that um, doesn't see like any family on Christmas, or if you're somebody who doesn't even celebrate Christmas, um, I think that this time of year can still you can still feel the magic, though, because this time of year brings out the best in a lot of people. So, like, I mean, how many times do you hear, okay, like, like, man, it's Christmas time. I may as well help this person. Or, you know what, come inside the house. Like, we'll feed you. Like, you just don't hear that as often at other times of the year. Yeah. You just don't. So, like, if whether you celebrate it or not, like, you have to admit that people just become a little nicer. It, you know, it, it unites us a little bit. And uh, when something can make us love and care for each other a little bit more, like that's something worth celebrating right there. Yep. So I hope this song lives forever. And uh, I hope I hope you guys uh, enjoy this song too. And let us know some of your uh, Christmas uh, traditions and all that. Very yeah. interested to see. So, uh, yeah, Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to all of you. We love you guys. That's it, guys. Don't forget to drop a like. And as always, please tell us your views. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Peace Peace out. out.